Greetings fellow Bond fans and welcome back to another episode of some Bond Geek Talks about with me your host, the name's Stevens, Henry Stevens. Everybody, how do you do? Hope you're enjoying a good Bond film, a good Bond book, a good Bond video game, a good Bond whatever you love in the James Bond fandom. But today we are going to discuss the unused Fleming titles and the possibility of will they actually be used, which is actually something actually I think a bit more interesting and a bit different than what most people do. But anyhow, before we start talking about this, everybody, of course, they've just got a bit of house cleaning to do up. First off, if you like this video, why don't you just give us a like? Because it does help the channel a lot and it does give me an idea of what sort of content um, people do like to see. Because I do like to do a bit towards that. But also, everybody, if you like it even more and any of the previous reviews or editorials are done, why not click on the subscribe button and click the notification bell icon to receive future updates and videos. And as always, everybody, a massive thank you from me to you for, be for being part of this show. Right, everybody, so as you know, you know, there are still some Ian Fleming um, book titles that have not been used in the series. Now, they are basically some of the names of the short story novels, and the short story content has been in some ways used already in the Bond franchise. You know, for instance, one of them was heavily used in Four Eyes Only, one was heavily used in Octopussy. Um, a part of one has also been used in the recent film Spectre. But these titles could potentially still be used down the line because I believe firmly and absolutely had on heart that these titles will be used as Bond films eventually down the line. Heck, one was going to be used for Dalton's third film. So let's go into them and do you think they'll be used. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with, I think, one that's been heavily suggested a lot will be used maybe one day a lot of the time before a title of a um, new bond film gets announced a lot of people always come to this one but that is obviously the property of a lady now as the title itself the property of a lady i think is a really really great title i think it's interesting i think it's very flemingish it's very um if you will seductive and it's very mysterious at the same time i think it's going to be a title absolutely used sometime down the future. Don't know when. Heck, you know, maybe after uh, No Time to Die, um, it might be used then. Who knows? Um, as the title of the next Bond film introduced to the next Bond. Um, so, yeah, you know, the way I see it, everybody, you know, we've had the use of Quantum of Solace. Um, if you were going to name a title I thought would never be used, that would be that one, but we had that one. So, hey, The Property of a Lady. But as I mentioned earlier, just a little quick shout out here. It was going to be the original title for Timothy Dalton's potential third James Bond film before he left. And if you want more information about that, there is this brilliant, brilliant book, which I'm currently rereading at the moment, The Lost Adventures of James Bond. Um, I've got it on screen now. Go read it. It's superb. Absolutely great read. It would have been a really interesting Bond film. And we will discuss it on this channel one day but yeah property lady i'm pretty sure is going to be used in some form or capacity down the line now the next title is a uh, Risico, um which i believe and if i'm wrong please tell me down in the comments sincerely um and i apologize if i got this wrong it's the greek word for risk um again i think this title will be used sometime down the line i think it's a really interesting title um, it's quite hard, I think, to say Rosisico. Um, certainly for me, maybe with my um, learning difficulties, in case any of you don't know, I'm dyspraxic. Um, but I think it's a really good name. The idea of calling a film Risk is very interesting to me. It brings back memories weird enough of the Risk board game. Um, I can see them using this well. I can see Bond going back to Greece being part of this story. Um, it really does, I think, um, have a real Fleming-esque star to it. And I know that when I'm saying that, you know, Fleming did make the title, but you know, next Bond film, Rissisico. It sounds really good, doesn't it? Um, I see this one as a definite contention, right behind the use of a property of a lady. Now, the next one, obviously, to talk about that hasn't been used yet is the Hildebrandt Riety, now, which is obviously about a MI6 um, safe house. Obviously, if those of you may have noticed already, it was actually used in Spectre. Nice little nod to us fans, which I really, really enjoyed seeing. I'm like, yay, they're using that! I'm a bond geek, so what? Um, but I think maybe the use of the Hildebrand Rioty, I'm not actually sure that will be used. Um, basically for two reasons. Number one, um, you could come up with a story about a safe house being compromised, you know, called the Hildebrand. 
and you know Von having to find you know something along those lines that could be used. However, the thing is when you say that name in comparison, say the property of Lady or Rosisico, is it doesn't really sound that interesting in my opinion. Now a lot of you might really feel different to what I've just said there, which is fine. I understand that. But to me, the the idea of a new Bond film being called the Hildebrandt Riety, I just don't see that one being that successful. I see it being more as a player again in future Bond films, just not really a title. But everybody, the big one that everyone I'm sure who knows about these titles already has been waiting for me to talk about, um, the title which everyone doesn't think is actually going to be used whatsoever at all, is the Bond film title 007 in new york do you know what everybody i am going to go against what other people believe about this one i believe this title is going to be used i'm, I'm not joking this is not an april fools i am not saying that this title will be used more than say the property of a lady or a Sissico or the hildebrandt variety but for those who don't know uh the film a view to a kill the actual fleming title was from a view to a kill they took out the from so why not potentially take out the 007 and just call, you know, um, let's just say for the argument, he is my favourite to take over the role after Daniel Craig leaves, um, Henry Cavill. Let's see, Henry Cavill is James Bond 007 in New York. You know, in New York. You know, the next title of the Bond film could just be take out 007 just be call it in New York. Um, and to be honest, I think that could be actually all right. Um, you know, obviously a lot of the film probably will take place in York or some big thing about it will happen there and something really interesting. But you know what? I don't think it's the worst title. You know, Call of Solace, in my opinion, is the worst Fleming title he ever came up with. And um, just simply just taking out the 007 and just having, you know, Henry Cavill stars James Bond 007 in the film in New York. Um, couldn't be, I don't think, too bad. I think it's a way of at least using the title. Um, so yeah, that's my ideas and i think if they did it like that it could be very useful but everybody let's just um move on to the next part of it I, i've talked a bit about um the youth titles whether they could be used or not now i want to give you a bit of a ranking now of all the titles i've said i think the least one that's going to be used is the hildebrandt riety um i just don't see that really being used i don't see people getting really excited about it except for us real hardcore bond fans I think a lot of the audience will just go, that sounds as stupid as Quantum of Solace did. Um, but anyway, um, next one I think um, is likely to be used, you know, would be the 007 New York. Just take out the 007 and have it as in New York. I think that could be potentially used. Um, but let's, you know, just see how that really goes. Um, my second place one would be Resisico. Um, Great title. Um, really interesting. Again, maybe... Um, some people might not like it, some don't, but I see it being a very interesting title. People want to hear what actually it's about. And then I think the number one to be used, which I'm sure a lot of people might agree with, will be at some point we will have the property of a lady. But hey, everybody, I want to know, what are your thoughts on that? Do you agree with what I'm saying? Do you disagree? Do you think they should use any of these last remaining Fleming Bond titles? I don't know. I want to hear your thoughts. Don't forget, everybody, comment down below and tell me what you think as well. As always, everybody, my name's Henry Stevens, and this has been some Bond Geek Talks About. Goodbye.